Hey guys, and in this tutorial, we're going to talk a little bit about moving data between R uh, and SPSS because there may be cases where, if you're just getting comfortable with R, uh, you may want to enter your data in SPSS and analyze it in R. And likely, there might be some cases where you want to do enter your data in R, do, do some, some analysis in R, and then do um, do. Do, do, do some in SPSS well that's what we're going to look at today how to get from one to the other we're going to do in both directions but we're going to start with SPSS so let's look at the example the actual data here isn't that important but you can see I've got um, three, three variables um, <coughs> the two are dichotomous group of variables and that's that's important because you'll see that will get maintained when we go into our those they'll still be defined as factors categories or well, when you're doing it when you're doing it, <coughs> when you're doing it the other way around so from R into SPSS the the cas the category labels that <coughs> that are defined in R actually don't get saved but they when you're doing it from SPSS two R they do so. The, to, do, to, to start things off, we go basically the general workflow is we're gonna save a text file and then both the applications you can import a text file. So um, we're gonna say get the program to save a text file and then get the other program to import that text file. So to save a text file in SPSS, we have File, save as, and then I'm in I'm in my directory here. Just going to give it a name. Just call it A for, and then here's the important bit. We're, we're not going to say SPSS document. We're going to say tab delineated file dot dat file. So I'm going to select select that, and then there's another option on to select that. <coughs> here we we want to write variable names for the spreadsheet are very important so R knows what our different variables are but linking to what I was saying about the value label will still be preserved in R we want to we want to s s s save value labels instead of data values so that means instead of saving 1 and 2 and, and 3 as the values it will save the actual names of the groups so I want to select that hit save now if we go into R, we need a package to do this and if you haven't watched the packages video, a package is a bit of information that you, you, can, you can download to extend the capabilities of R. So we, we want to install, to be able to import and export files we want to install a package called foreign. So I'm just going to write Install packages foreign. This thing going to install very quickly. To give us access to the stuff that's in that package, we have to load it up. So, we to do that, we use this command called library, and then the name of the package. So. Foreign. We've now got access to all the information that was available in that add-on package. So now we need to import the the file. So to do that, we're gonna create 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 an object and so so to to store the data in because what the what what the um package is gonna create for us is a data frame containing all the data. 
And if you don't know what data frames are, I'll put, I'll put an annotation on the video to prove this video that I did. Anyway, this video is, but, um, this data is about mood, so I'm going to put in a variable called mood. I'm going to say read dot delim I'm going to give it the name of the file so a dot that and just and just press enter we, we now should have access to all that information in the inside mood so if we run just mood on it so we've, we've got all that data so that's importing data from SPSS into our what, what about the other way around well I've got a data frame called frame juice here's the data and what if I want to export this well the first the first thing to notice is importing into SPSS where I can just take the value labels SPSS will get confused so when I originally created this data it didn't have data labels so that's that's important to save this data out as a text file that SPSS can import or what we need to do is um, write table and then the first question the computer is going to ask is what information do we want to write into a table or want to write in the information from the brain juice data frame and where do we want to put it? Well, I'm just going to say a file called brain dot dat. Now, there's there's another option you might want to you might want to pass in, and that's relating to these row numbers now um, by default I will export export the file and include the row numbers as part of the data but SPSS has its own row numbers and as we'll see when we import the data it can work out based on where the data is where the row, <coughs> where the row numbers are so we don't want uh, to give this row number so to get rid of them we're just going to say row dot names equals false okay so then we should have a file in the in the our directory with all that data in it let's import it into SPSS so we're going to go back to SPSS Select file, read read text data, select our brain.dat file. So then gonna ask us a lot of questions. Most of these you can just leave the default, but there are a few important places where we want to change our data it doesn't match a predefined format, so we're gonna leave it as now. Our, our data is the delineated by tabs, that's why we didn't save. 
that's why it's said tab delineated file. One option we do need to change is so that it knows these are variable names and not values. We need to say yes, our variable names are included at the top of the file. All, all, all cases are in the data and each line represents a unique case. So then got each of our ver variables and decided where, what's, what's separating them and it's got them correctly so we're going to press continue. So then going to ask us to name both our variables. Um, so then going to say, do you want to save this template for next time? We'll, I'm going to say no, so we're just going to hit it. done. We've now got uh, um, a spreadsheet with our new data in it, so so, so that's um, the basics of how to import data from SPSS to R and from R to SPSS. Basically, the, the protocol that you get you get you get the source program to export a text file and then the destination program can import that text file. So hope you found this useful guys and thanks for watching.